tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Everybody, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and in this video, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to a really cool new WordPress theme out there called GoodWeb. It's from the team over at ThemePunch. They're the ones who brought you the slider revolution, in my opinion, the coolest slider out there for WordPress. But uh, we're not going to do go too far into the theme itself. I'm going to cover that in actually a different post. But what we're going to talk about here is how to set up the one-page theme because this theme gives you the ability to do both multi-page, uh, your standard normal WordPress functionality where you click on a menu item takes you to a new page with the page reload. But it also allows you to do a one page, which if you see here on my screen, I'm on the front page obviously, and then I can click on different menu items. I can just scroll and it goes down to different sections of the site. We have an about us, a team, and then a contact page. And you'll see here in the menu area, that it shows the different pages as we scroll down. Also, we can look at the menu itself, and if we click on, say, the About page, it just scrolls the page down. It actually doesn't reload the page. So uh, it's the one-page functionality that's really cool and really popular now. I'm going to show you how to set that up with this theme. So what we're going to do first is to go into the admin section, and we're just going to look at our pages. And you'll see here I have a couple different pages listed. I have an about page, a contact page, I have a team that lists some information about our team, and then you'll see here I have a home page. Obviously these are listed in alphabetical order because they're all with the same menu level. So these individual pages feature something called a front-end builder, which is a new builder, and I'll show you real quickly what that looks like. So for example, if we come here into the our team, I'm just going to edit this page, and this was set up as a standard page. You'll see here, uh, page attributes, there's no parent page, and it's using the default template, okay? And then what we're looking at, I'm just gonna hide the page title. This has the front end builder. So if I click edit page, it's gonna take us into this builder, which gives us a lot of different options, and it shows us exactly in real time what the page looks like, right? And then, Here's the builder here, here's the information. So what I did was I put a headline in, I put a couple team members here, and that information is listed here using some of these items. Obviously I used a headline, and then I used the team member single items, and I put them there. By clicking on one, you'll notice uh, you have the ability to edit the picture that goes there, the title, uh, the position description, and any other social networks that might go along with that person. So I'll just give you an example, that's what that looks like. So that's a, a standard page, um, and we have that uh, same type of thing selected for a couple pages. We have an About Us page, a Contact page, and then Our Team. Now the one thing that's special is, to make the one pager work, you need one page on your site that is selected using the one page template. So what we did was we just created a simple home page right here, and we'll edit that so you can see what it looks like. And using that, over on the right here, we selected the one page template, right? So there's four different templates we can use. We just selected the one page. And as soon as you do that, and I'll show you what it looks like if we click default. If you click default template, it gives you the standard WordPress editor and some other page options associated with this theme. But once you click one page, all of those options go away. And you only have two options to choose from now. You can choose a background, and in this case, we set up a default background in the theme customizer, or you can choose to set a revolution slider to have a slider as the background for the full page. We chose to just to leave this as default. We're choosing some background slides for our default. So we don't need to save or do anything here. We're just gonna leave that, and we're gonna return back to our pages briefly. So you'll see here we have a list of four pages, very simple site. Now over in the appearance menus section, depending on how you set yours up, you might tell it to automatically add new top level pages. If not, you're gonna see all your pages here in the page list. Now we don't need to select home because the theme is already gonna use that page that we select as the one page template as the home page. 
So all we need to add into our menus are the other pages. So we took the About page, we put it there, we put the Our Team page underneath it, we put the Contact page underneath that, we made sure that the main navigation page was selected under Theme Locations, and we saved that. Now once that's done, we're going to head over to the Theme Customizer and just make sure that a couple other settings are checked off. You'll find that under Appearance Customizer. So we'll want to look at a few things first, and this is going to show us uh, what our site looks like in real time here. Now the guys at Theme Punch have done a great job by tapping into the WordPress Settings API and using the default Theme Customizer with some additional options. So it's very easy to use and it uses WordPress standards. So you'll notice here we can scroll through the entire page and see what our one pager looks like. And you'll see that functionality is working already. But you can also come through here and take a look at a couple different things. So under general layout, you'll notice that we have selected the one pager. So if you have not selected that yet, if your multi-pager is selected, obviously it's not going to be working. So you'll want to come here and click one pager. Once that's done, you'll come down here and click under navigation. And navigation will give you the ability to choose the menu that you're using. Now we've only set up one menu and we called it main menu, so you'll want to make sure that whatever your menu that you plan to use as the one pager menu is selected there. Once all that is done, you'll click save, and you should notice that functionality here. As you page down, you'll notice the menu name change. We get off of the home page, now we're at the about page, and you'll see that changes. We keep going, now we're at the team page, we keep going, now we're at the contact page. So all of that uh, works now and it's of the standard one pager. So I'm just going to go back to the front end of the website and you'll notice that if I click on this menu, it pulls up a mobile menu. This is a fairly new version of mobile menus. It works really well. Uh, a lot of different themes are using it and it, it's great for mobile devices. So you'll see here if we click on menu items, it just slides down. We can go back and home is automatically added. We didn't add that in our menu navigation. It's automatically added by the theme. We click home and it brings us right back to the home page without reloading the page. We click contact, brings us down to the contact section of the site. And it has this kind of cool fold up uh, map view here, uh, which works really well. So um, that's how to create the one pager within the good web theme from Theme Punch. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments, leave a message. Check out the post, which is linked to in this YouTube tutorial. Uh, if you have questions from there, you could leave them here under YouTube, or you could just scoot over to our site, orkspring.com, check out this blog post, or submit questions there. Good luck!